Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. Today, we're going to take a look at making these kind of liquidy, robotic, droplet-type sounds. So, I will just play the clip so you can hear the sound, and then we'll go about making it. So the sound in question is this one. Fairly common sound heard in like full on things like that. So the first thing you're going to need to make this is Vital. And we're going to do the same thing we did back in the Additive Squelch video. Uh, but don't worry if you haven't seen that, because we're going to do it again. So we've got a saw wave, and what we want is to create a wavetable with a bandpass sweep. So frequency filter, click on the uh, keyframe, set it to bandpass, cut off all the way down, shape all the way down, or you can have a tiny bit if you want, but yeah, I keep all the way down. Make another keyframe all the way to the end. Cut off as high as it will go, and a shape of about 0.25, roughly around there. It's really up to you to experiment and see what you think sounds best. Okay, so now that we've made our wavetable, we should have our bandpass sweep. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, so we want to go and save this. Export to WAV file, go and save it in the place where you keep your wavetables. Um, I've already got one of these, or a fair few of these saved, so I'm not going to bother actually saving it. But yeah, name it, save it. And now we need Serum. Here we go. Ignore the ugly skin. Okay, so let's load up our wavetable that we created. Here it is. Okay, and firstly, just take it down an octave. And uh, what we want to do really, ideally, is turn the phase random all the way down and set the phase to the beginning or the end or possibly the middle, but definitely uh, will work at the beginning. Uh, the idea here is to stop any sort of popping or clicking to get a bit of a smoother sound because the sides are always at zero. If you look at the wavetable, yeah, it's always at zero on the far side. So yeah, I set the phase there for the smoothest possible sound. Okay, now uh, we're going to need something to generate some MIDI for us. So let's just, I'm going to have a nice long note, just one long MIDI note. And I'm going to use Autoplay from Altar of Wisdom. You can use an arpeggiator or... Riffer, Acolyte, you know, uh, so many different things built for this. Or you can just draw in your own patterns. Crazy. Right, so just set this up. Okay, the, the main thing is that we're getting a tiny bit of groove and uh, random velocity. Because we're going to use the velocity to control this. Okay, so I'm going to set velocity on the wavetable position. And already we should have something so, sort of kind of interesting. Okay, so I don't really uh, have any have any use for the lowest bits. So I'm just going to take the lowest bound of this up to where we start to get a bit a little bit more. Uh, Interesting content. Just a little bit more higher tone. It's just those, the low, low sine wave just tends not to be useful for this particular sound. Okay, so yeah. 
Perfect. Okay, so now what we want, uh, I'd like to just take the sustain all the way down and set the decay about something like 50 odd milliseconds. And then maybe a little bit of note on random to con to just sort of randomize how long these are. Let's make it a bit shorter even, let's say 40 milliseconds. And a uh, little bit of release just in case. Okay, and then let's pop over to the matrix and just edit this uh, decay modulation. We don't want that much of it really. You know, it's uh, it's up to you how you like it. Okay, so now what I tend to find sounds really really cool for this is some quantize. What's nice with the quantize as well is you can kind of tweak it and uh, if you look at it in, a, in an analyzer you'll see depending on where you've got this quantize set you'll kind of get these notches in the spectrum and you can use this to sort of leave space for other sounds. So for instance if you've got a kick hat that lives at 12, 13k you can set this up just leave a little hole so that uh, kick hat can come through properly. Okay, so let's say we're happy with that. Okay, let's go over here. And we're definitely going to want a bit of EQ. Make sure nothing really low happens. And nothing really high either. Set this to say 12,000. Okay, quite like to use uh, some sort of comb filter or something like that. Really nice way of getting a bit of extra texture and flavor into it. And uh, I'm going to tune this to around about A because my tune's in A. Just gives it a bit more tone. I quite like that. Okay, so let's get delay as well. Ping pong, of course. Some reverb. Okay, and then if we want for a bit of control, we can just set up macros. Maybe want to control the uh, the flange filter as well, but yeah, it's up to you how you do that. Okay, so just to make this a little bit more interesting, let's go for note on random on the pan. So I don't want it to go all the way left and right. I just want to go maybe sort of fifty percent either way. Just to give the sound a bit more sort of uh, stereo interest. Okay, and then it's worth noting that the sound, because of the bit crusher esque the quantize effect, we're going to get some really high frequencies that you can keep if you want, but I have some sort of precious stuff going on up here, so I want to cut them off. We don't need this low stuff, so that can go as well. You 
you can see the notches in the uh, spectrum here. Okay, so then also worth noting, this sound is really prone, uh, especially when we use you know the resonance from the sort of flange or combing. Uh, it's really prone to having very loud peaks. So let's just limit this. <laughs> Usually I would recommend you uh, do the delay and things like that after any uh, limiting and stuff, but uh, yeah, this is just for the purpose of the tutorial. Okay, so that is more or less it. Let's, let's hear it in context. Okay, cool. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.